Okay, everyone, we're here at the JW Desert Spring Resort and Spa. We are going to go in for a very special uh, dining event, and uh, it is at the Rockwood Grill. So, uh, you describe your, your cocktail. You're very happy with it. <laughs> it's called the Flamingo Island, and I just asked, asked for a lemon drop, and it has lemon, vodka, here, let me help Lisa. There it is. Ever so slightly, you can see it. I know I can get up. I'm sorry. But anyways, Lisa found it to be very, very good. Honey granule rim instead of sugar. Honey and granules. Wow. Been sat and here we are at the chef's table and um, getting ready for this wonderful event. We are <laughs> we we actually walked all the way through the kitchen to get here, so the, this should be a lot of fun. Special room in the back. Um, it's even on TV. There it is up there. So. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We don't do cooking classes. We're not going to make you put an apron on and do all that. So we're going to do all the work basically. Okay. And then I'm going to do the first dish. Then after that, Jeff's yeah, going to do the next two dishes. Am I going on? <laughs> because each one of us has our own class. I already did my class, so I'm just helping him. Out. Okay. So any questions you have while we're doing this, feel free. Please feel free. See, he's messing up my dish. <laughs> Feel free to ask. These chefs are a bunch of clowns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is not a cooking class, but uh, it's more of a, a display to us on how to do things. So we're getting going. But why don't you... It is butter, right? But it's not just regular butter. It's special butter. It looks like... Yeah. It looks like foie gras, didn't you know, foie gras? Mm -hmm. yeah. It looks like foie gras, doesn't it? Yeah. But this, this dish is a bit of fun. So this is butter. I'm doing the hard work. Jeff is just done with it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's the smart one. He doesn't do the hard work. Yeah, but he's got two more courses out of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had Larry. Larry. <laughs> had a baby Larry. So I don't want to explain exactly what's in this at the moment because I want you to taste it. And then go, well. And then I'll tell you. Yeah. This is the Ooh, very, This very was just brought to us. This is a, a culinary uh, extravaganza event, but it's also uh, uh, paired with whiskey drinks. So this is a, a whiskey drink. The Southern cooking class. We'll do some Jack Daniels. Get some good old Tennessee whiskey. So this is uh, a traditional whiskey bramble. It has uh, blackberry, basil, lemon, sugar, in addition to Jack Daniels. Uh, so you just shake all the ingredients together. It's two ounces of Jack Daniels, one ounce of lemon juice, three quarters ounce, ounce of simple syrup, and uh, three muddled back blackberries with some basil. And you shake it all together. Uh, you can make it in a punch. I pre-batched it, so it was basically a punch format. But you could shake it fresh. Um, and, and you could freeze it over, or not freeze it, but refrigerate it overnight. It's a very good party drink. Tell them what I'm putting in the butter. I made the butter. You made the butter, but can I tell them what well, I'm putting what in the butter? What was he putting in the butter? Oh, this thing? Yeah. Like what do you think sort of, it is? It looks like some sort of skin. Skin. Like a chicken skin or a turkey skin? Chicken rooms. 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 Chicken
The rest of the chicken you're gonna see in your next dish. And then I first thing I did was I skinned them and then I lay them flat on a baking sheet and press them down with another baking sheet and just bake them at a low temperature until they're crispy and golden brown. Seen nicely with salt. All right. And then we've got some sage, some edible flowers, some raspberry because the foie gras thing, the raspberry and foie gras kind of go together. So have some sweetness. And then the honey. And then the, the one that the easy part is the chive and cheddar cornbread. Oh, wow. And that's it, I believe. Oh, no, there's all the other stuff there. Yeah. I told you about Jimmy Jory, didn't I? Yeah. And then, oh, there's some um, very finely chopped rosemary and pine. And that can be A few other spices, proprietary spices. No. Uh, basically garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of ginger. And then we, we breaded them twice. So they went from the brine into the breading, back into the brine, then into the breading again or in the flour, then deep fried. We have a house-made biscuit with our Brussels sprout slaw, which is a little bit different, but just being California, we're gonna do our super I'm a fan, I'm a fan. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a national hot. So, Thank you, here we go. This pickled second course. It seems like a lot of this. Some of the things that people love already like our hot chicken uh, sandwich, right? Uh, and some things that they were able to transform from a classic to something more elevated. So that's what we do here. Uh, we try to use a lot of the local ingredients as well from the local farms. We use a lot of dates as well. So if you're familiar with the Coachella Valley, we use a lot of that uh, just to um, impress a lot of the clients that we have that are flying from other places and to show a little bit of the, the locale. So do you guys ever cook with cactus then? Yeah. Well, yeah. the cactus salads. No bowl, no bowl. Yeah, no bowl, yeah. no bowl. No yeah. no yeah. no yeah. But can I just get into the history how this actually happened? This happened by accident. So what you, where you're sitting right now used to be a line. This, because this was an Italian restaurant. So it's a the chef's table behind you. So the Italian restaurant is on the other side of the wall. But this is the actual kitchen. So when they closed the Italian restaurant, they were going to rip out the kitchen. And I went to the GM at the time and said, why don't you rip out a million dollar kitchen? Like, yeah, yeah. Why would you? Why would you do this? So, so it started to develop over the years. So, you know, did everybody tell you the name of this room? It's called TNT. That's, that's the space that's known as TNT. And you know why the reason it's called TNT? You almost got it blowed up. <laughs> Very, yeah, <close>. <laughs> <laughs> the line is actually still underneath here. Yeah. It's, 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 TNT means high in temperature. And that's what you need to actually cook. There was a chef here a few years ago who actually used to be the chef when it was an Italian restaurant. And he came up with the name Climate Temple. You know, which was great thing. And the, the wood, the reason the wood is here is because when we started at first, we had no money. So we got the butcher's block from up in the banquet kitchen. And we put it here to cover up all the bells and stuff like that. And then when we got some money, they came in and they built the table and it went from there. So it took many, many years. And the Ralph's Cathedral was here at the time, so that must have been nine years it's actually taken to get to yeah. this. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the garden. So we do seasonal, we plant some seasonal uh, herbs as well. Peppers, peppers. And these are peppers, yes. Yeah. So for summer we decided to go with peppers. We go from mild all the way to ghost peppers. Yeah. So oh, really? um, we use all of those as well to do some infusions for some of our spirits, as well as uh, some infusions for, um, for the kitchen. So, you know, it's a great talking point for us. Here, here so, so yeah, th like I said, this was something near and dear to me that uh, my dad used to make for us for breakfast. He would do fried mash, but this is fried grits. Uh, so mash is cream weeds. This, we take the grits, we cooked it last night, let it set and form overnight. We cut it into small circles. This is not cheesy grits, this is a sweet grit, so it's got sugar in it. Uh, then I did some cinnamon caramelized uh, peaches, a slab of sous vide bacon that we seared off on the flat top, and just a little bit of maple syrup. So, be a great breakfast course, dish. here we come. But also a great dessert. Uh, everything is made in house. We got yes, gifts. Thank you so much. We got yes, gifts today. So Guillermo was giving us yeah. <laughs> there it is. It's incredible. You can see in there. And I know we're celebrating. How about that? Is there a birthday? Not my birthday. Okay. We have a birthday too. Anybody celebrating a birthday today? We are celebrating a birthday.
Thank you for joining us, travelers, on our adventure at the JW North Desert Springs Resort and Spa. This TNT dinner was eventful and enjoyable. Don't forget, it was also entertaining. So check out opentable.com for reservations, and we sure hope you enjoy your time there. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.